I'd like to briefly talk about Google Scholar. I usually recommend to students to only use the site as a last resort if you are unable to find articles through our library databases. The reason for this is twofold. The first is that, while considered scholarly, the journals and articles on Google Scholar are not as vetted as they are on our library databases. Here you'll find a lot of open source journals, student dissertations, and various other documents which may or may not be quite as reliable. Second, you'll often find a lot of articles which are not full text, meaning that you must pay to access them. So again, we recommend that you only use Google Scholar if you can't find information elsewhere. Okay, so if you'd like to access Google Scholar, you can either just Google it, or there is a link straight from our database page. Okay, so here's the Google Scholar home page. Before you start your search, uh, usually you need to adjust the settings to tell it you are a student at Rio Hondo College. So if you go over here to the uh, upper left hand corner, click on that, go down to settings, and then uh, select library links under settings. You could enter in your school, Rio Hondo College. This gives you access to a lot of resources which may not be available to the general public that is uh, using uh, Google Scholar. So I'm going to make these selections here, Rio Hondo Community College, and just hit save. So that way you will have access to more information on Google Scholar. Now the search function is very uh, simple here. It's not like the advanced search that you see in our databases, but I'm gonna do just a quick um, search here. I'll try selfie culture and body dysmorphia. Okay. Let's see what comes up. Okay, so I got 28 results. So that's actually very good considering that selfie culture is a term that isn't widely used. So um, you will find a lot of results on Google Scholar, which, which is the benefit of it. But again, a lot of these um, articles may not be free or they may be um, a little unreliable. Okay, so that's it for Google Scholar. Again, uh, we recommend to only use this if you're not finding the information you need within our library databases.